Hello everyone, Carlos here from the Trusted Research Team. So today I want to talk to you about a new version of Sysmon that was recently released by Microsoft, Sysmon 14.0. On this new version of Sysmon, we have a new schema, schema 4.82. And as part of this new schema version, we have a new event type. That event type is file block executable. Now with this new event type, we can actually filter, let's say for user image, target file name, and also the hashes of the PE files that are being created. Not only are we able to log that a new, that a process is actually creating an executable, but for the first time, we're able to actually take a blocking action against this. So in other words, any process out there that tries to create an executable with an MC header is going to be blocked. You may ask, what is an MC header? An MC header is the DOS execution file header. This was created by, I'm not going to butcher his name. I'm just going to show the uh, uh, his face and his name here on the video. Uh, but it, it was created by a Microsoft engineer. It was in the initial file execution format for COM objects, and then it was made for the PE file. And it kept getting expanded, and now it covers DLLs, XLL. So in other words, if an attacker sends a malicious payload and that malicious payload, be it a malicious document, a script, or whatever other type of method that actually creates a process, and from it, it writes to disk an executable for later execution, we're going to be able to block that action with Sysmon if we have the proper rule. For example, here's a sample rule set where I have actually just covered most of the Office applications. i um, covered some of the Windows scripting engines that come with Windows. In addition to that, I'm also covering some of the LOL bins. So I'm going to just launch PowerShell and I'm going to try to download an executable using invoke web request. Now, when I do this, it runs very well, but if you look closely, one of the things that you'll notice, there's no alert. So the only thing that gets logged or shown is in the event log. So if I go into the event log, I'm going to have an event type 27. When we look at the event, we're going to see how we blocked that executable from being written to disk. Now, with great power comes great responsibility. This means that we have to be very careful because this has the potential of causing friction between the security team and other teams inside of the IT infrastructure. So we have to kind of like work together, play nicely, so we can prevent some of that friction with this. Uh, so this means that we have to test. Now, I updated the Sysmon community guide, and we have now a chapter on this new event type. And I really hope that you go visit and find this information useful. Some other sources out there have been putting already some rule sets that you can start looking at those. I really do invite you to go to those and look at them. We're going to put links to those sources in the description of the video. Again, thank you for watching and stay safe.